Hello everyone and welcome back to another route analysis video. This one's for the Brighton Mainline, obviously coming as part of the Rush Hour update this summer for Train Some Well 2. So let's take a look. The line opened in 1839 from Norwood Junction to Hayward Seath and then in 1841 from Hayward Seath down to Brighton. It's 50 miles long, as you can see a map on the screen now. It's got 25 stations. And throughout the course of that journey, the top speed is 90 miles an hour, which does convert to 140 kilometers an hour. So fairly swift. And moving on to the trains we will be operating on the line, obviously both Electro Stars, this being the Class 377-4 in Southern livery, and also the Class 387, obviously in Gatwick Express livery, and obviously big thanks to 73A Photography for letting me use the photo. You will find the link to his channel below. And now we're going to take a look at what could actually be layered onto the route. Obviously the Class 66 could be layered on for a bit of freight. Obviously it does run up from New Haven up uh, obviously the Kima branch to Kima Junction, which is actually just before Withersfield. Perhaps services could start at the signal uh, just before it does join up to the Brighton main line. And also there are a couple of freight uh, sort of yards uh, along the route. Obviously you have got Tinsley Yard, which is actually just before Gatwick, uh, which does see one train a day, I believe. I mean, it's a bit of freight, isn't it? So I don't mind if it's just one train a day. And also we do have the Arding Lie Terminal, where there's a couple of freight trains a day, I believe. Not even that, maybe just one. Uh, obviously you can see the junction here, Copyhold Junction, which does come off the Brighton Main Line, just a couple of miles north of Haywards Heath. I mean, it's a nice bit of extra freight we could get on the line. Uh, we might even also see the Class 166, which will see Great Western Rail. We do operate a service from Reading to um, to Gatwick Airport, so we might see uh, that layered on maybe a few services that they need from Red Hill to Gatwick Airport. And obviously in future, if they do actually manage to acquire the Thameslink license, we might actually be able to see the Class 700, which really would make the route complete. And also looking at a few points of interest before we do actually move on to sort of the stations on the route. Uh, obviously we do have Clayton Tunnel, obviously just south of Hassock, so it's awesome, sort of iconic castle portal to it. Also got the Ouse Valley Viaduct, which is just south of Bolcombe and north of Haywards Heath. And here is the Free Bridges train care facility, which you may be thinking, hang on, that's not really a point of interest. It's really, you know, it's a massive sort of complex. I've actually been inside it in real life uh, a couple of times actually. Uh, obviously this is where the class 700s would be maintained if they did get added in the future. There's a proper big facility here, all high security and everything. And you can even see the old spur going off the Worth Way, obviously off to East Grinstead down sort of the upper left. You can see the tree line going off. Uh, but yeah, this is quite a cool place. I don't know if we would be able to access it until the 700s come in, if they do come in. Obviously this is right next to Free Bridges Station. And also we have got Gatwick Airport, which obviously is at Gatwick Airport. Uh, which will be quite cool to see the planes flying over and also Battersea Power Station which is just near London, Victoria uh, which will be cool to see but we're now going to move on to the stations on the route there's 25 in total so let's get going right so starting off at the coast also we do have Brighton Station which you can see I have captured here on the East Coastway obviously after Brighton we do have Preston Park a little free uh, platform so we've got the island platform there as well uh, you've got Hassocks here, which recently did actually get um, modernised. Uh, obviously, only two platforms. This is Burgess Hill, only two platforms here as well. Uh, and then we move on to Withersfield, quite an odd little station, only two platforms. It does seem like it's in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and then we have Haywards Heath, um, obviously four platforms, two islands there. Uh, and then we've got the uh, and then we've got Balcombe here. Uh, and then we do have three bridges. I've got this one from over the top as it just seems better doing it from over the top on this one. Gatwick Airport here. I look down onto it. Obviously quite a busy station. Seven platforms. Here's Hawley Station. Four platforms and obviously one island platform. Uh, this is Salfords. Uh, just a tiny little station. Now we've got Earlswood. Uh, which is another two platform station. And then we come to Red Hill, which actually recently did get uh, modernised again. It's even got a platform zero. Uh, here's Merston, which is just a little two platform one on the slow lines. Here's uh, Colston South again, little two platform one on the slow lines. Uh, here is Purley, which is I think five or six platforms. Uh, and then we do have Purley Oaks. Uh, and then after Purley Oaks, we do then have uh, South Croydon, which is four platforms, I believe. Might only be five. Uh, and then East Croydon, which is obviously another big station on the route. Um, six or seven platforms there. Uh, and then after that, we've got Selhurst. Uh, and then Thornton Heath. 
Uh, obviously, these are sort of on the main line now. Uh, and we've got Norbury. And after Norbury, it's Streatham Common. And then after that, it is then um, Ballum, which is another four platform station with two islands. And then lastly, Wandsworth Common. <clears throat> and then we sort of get onto the main big station, which is going to be Clapham Junction. Well, it's going to be interesting to see the AI around here. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, and then we then have Battersea Park, which is just before, obviously, London Victoria, uh, which you can see now, obviously, a grand station there. And then I did also want to take a look at sort of the, um, well, in the quarry lines, actually, between uh, Purley and Ellswood. Obviously, the fast lines sort of go off here and sort of bypass uh, Red Hill, Merston, Colston South. Um, so, obviously, I've got the express trains going along there and the slower ones sort of stopping at all the stations. And also uh, depots, which we'll probably see. Obviously, Lovers Walk depot is obviously going to be a main one at Brighton. And then probably Selhurst depot, which is just uh, just above East Croydon. They're probably the main depots we'll be going in and out of. Uh, but that is going to be it for this route analysis video. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. Hopefully, I have explained to you what the Brighton main line is, where it goes to and from, that sort of thing. Obviously, you will find a link in the description to the Discord server and to the PayPal if you do want to help support the channel, even to the merch store and also to 73A Photography's channel. Go and check them out for more awesome videos and photos like this. But that's going to be it. Obviously, do subscribe for more. Uh, we'll be covering all the routes coming up with route, route analysis videos. But that is going to be it. Thanks for coming in. Have a lovely rest of your day and I hope we'll see you in the next one. See you all and take care.